team, this is Face Emotion number seven. I think I got a pretty good question this time. Uh, it, someone who knows me knows that I work at a daycare, and they asked me. Well, first things first, to preface this is total. This is relevant and also probably going to lead to another video. But I don't view myself as being male. I uh, consider myself to be gender queer. I, my friends don't allude to me as he. A lot of my friends actually speak to me in Finnish, and it's not a problem in our language. <laughs> but um, this person said that they know still that, for example, the kids at my workplace see me as being male and have asked me to talk about what it's been like working as someone, at least someone who's being viewed as male with children. Uh, I think this was, uh, this was actually a really great question. I. Um, spent most of my life in uh, America before I moved to Helsinki, Finland. And uh, in the US, the culture around this kind of stuff is pretty intense. Uh, it's just incredible how much male people are not like socially allowed to work with children. They're not even really allowed to show affection to children, possibly even their own children. There's always this immediate question about uh, if they're a pedophile or something like that. I really love kids. I love working with kids. I enjoy just people growing up from the very beginning. And I, I, when I look at kids, I really I see the future. There's so many reasons for me to be excited about uh, working with children. And um, I, uh, I'm also a very affectionate person. And when I get attached to children and adults and uh, animal companions, like I'm always like really huggy and lovey dovey and things like that. And um, I, I volunteered with uh, kids who were on the run with their mothers from abusive spouses and other partners and such when I was still in the States. And we had to be very careful by about how we interacted with the children. Um, they already have like attachment issues and, and things like that. When I moved to Helsinki, I got a job at a kindergarten that I think has a very special meaning, we would say. Um, it's I don't think it's it's like common f uh, Finnish kindergartens. And um, I I'd say one thing that separates us is uh, the fact that they we're pretty affectionate with the kids. And I think that's a really uh, a great thing. It makes me very very happy to know that when I grow attached to these children, I'm allowed to, you know, hug them and pick them up and all this kind of stuff. Um, one, one thing we do at our daycare, which I think is really a fantastic thing, is uh, during the kids' rest time, we always massage the kids and scratch their backs and things like that. The uh, ideology behind this is that the kids develop a consciousness of their, like an awareness of their body before they reach you know, at the age where a bunch of hormones will come in and force them to realize they have a body, pretty much. And that this is actually a uh, foundation for a healthy self-esteem. And, um, and uh, they, they also like develop a, a, a comfort with, uh, with, uh, with themselves physically and also with uh, affection in general. For me, one thing I really love about being able to get closer to the children is that... Uh, um, is that I, one thing that's important to me is for children to feel like they're loved even when they're not at home, you know? Um, so anyway, I came to this daycare and on day one, uh, a child asked me to, to like massage his back. And I thought that was a great thing, you know? That's really cool that you can do that here. Um, but in the beginning, it did still make me kind of nervous that uh, people would be like, mm, how do we feel about this guy? Um, massaging all these kids and stuff like that. I am the only person seen as male at the kindergarten, and the only teacher, rather. Males in general are just not uh, common, you know, kindergarten or preschool teachers and things like that, especially in the United States. It felt like treading on eggshells for a very long time. And I had to get a little more comfortable with my job, with the kids, with the staff, before I really felt like, oh, we're, we're all on the same page. We realized why this is a wonderful thing. I realized why this isn't as strange um, in the way that I thought it was strange in another country. 
And um, I started to really believe, even just theoretically, in what we were doing with the kids. And uh, was just very happy in general that I could be loving with these children. I'm kind of over the idea that, uh, about males being like a minority in this field or anything like that. I don't think about it the way I used to. I feel very comfortable with my coworkers and in my work environment and with what I do. And I um, don't put as much thought into it. I just make sure that uh, people respect me and feel like I respect their kids and what I do and so forth. And it makes me feel pretty secure about the position. I don't feel like I normally have to worry about it. But obviously it, it does come up.